all the world beneath your feet. Time is on both sides of this scale, saved and spent, weighing anywhere between a first kiss and the last call. Of course, not all things are defined by their means. There is, for instance, no value in missing grief for the morning of a memory you should have had. But that which we can't measure, we feel. For some, the load is enough. And this is the balance I've come to know. An artful compromise of need and desire, mother and self. The art of balance, isn't it grand? I turn the radio louder, tuning out the boys by the roadside, selling peanuts and sun-warmed water and sausage rolls. I am almost certain that when the car stops, they'll keep running towards the future, perhaps, a wide open end of their own. I feel each throbbing footstep of theirs, urgent, steady, beating life back into the earth. Noel here. Um, I think the most important lesson that I've learned about activism in my time at Brown is just that um, it will always be the best and the most successful and the most fun when you do it among your friends and the people that you love. So um, much love to you all out there. Congratulations on a graduating! And uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. I'm super excited to have been nominated for most likely to run for office. I hope to become a federal judge in the future, so hopefully I'll be appointed to office at some point. But my four years at Brown have taught me that leadership is all about compassion, empathy, inclusivity, and communication. A good leader always leads from behind and prioritizes the needs and experiences of the people that they are leading. Oftentimes when we think about leadership, we think of people in these large, very prominent roles that are leading large groups of people. But in reality, leadership is a skill, a trait that we can all develop over time. And so my time here has really shown me that I can be a leader in every respect and that we can all sharpen those traits in ourselves. Something that I've learned about leadership is that one of the most important things to consider is respect and the respect you have like for yourself and your time, the respect you have for the people that you work with, and the respect that you have for the community that you're organizing for. And at the end of the day, if you have all of that, you're going to make a great leader. A word that I would use to describe my time at Brown is transformative. Irreplaceable. My Brown experience was a lot, a lot of good, a lot of um, not so good, but a lot. Overall, just a lot. Radical. Rewarding. 
the black room in the BCSC. Oh my goodness, do not know how I would have survived Brown without it, whether it was like taking a nap between classes because I lived in Pembroke or like the black room in the BCSC. Harambe was like the introductory space for me as a black person. The Emmanuel Seventh-day Adventist Church. I went there once a week to recenter and remain grounded in my faith. Only house. BCSC, I really appreciated being able to go in there and have somewhere that I could rest, have somewhere that I could um, meet up with people, somewhere where I could find snacks. So it was definitely my favorite place on campus. Most of my favorite memories come from the late nights in Olney with my own brothers in box. At a place like Brown, sleep doesn't really come easy and there's always stuff to do. But just having people, you know, stay up with you anyway just to talk or play video games just showed me that I always have a family with me on campus. When I was in the BCSC, in the formal lounge, uh, Brown Black Heritage was having an event where everyone was learning how to braid each other's hair. It was just so beautiful that I had to stop and take a video because it was just a bunch of Black people, all different class years, all different levels of experience, learning how to braid each other's hair. And I think about hair and braiding, what that means for the Black community in the African diaspora, is it was just a beautiful, beautiful sight. And it reminded me of just how strong, vibrant, um, creative, and supportive the Black community here. Is. Definitely grateful for my parents. They, from the beginning, have been probably the two people that have kept me sane throughout this entire process. I'm so grateful for all of the pieces of Black art I've gotten to see, witness, and or be a part of um, while I've been at Brown. It has really sustained me over the years, and it's just the most beautiful thing. I mean, come on. I'm grateful for Beto Omega Kai. My father, uh, he has been instrumental into making this day come and my dreams come to fruition. So uh, this degree is not just for me, but it's for him too. I need to thank my family. My mentality at Brown was always, I don't know where I want to go, but I know how I want to get there. And it took a lot of faith and trust on their part to let me follow my own vision the way they did. I am extremely grateful for my family. Um, with them being in Chicago and then me going to school in Providence, it was just a lot of transition and a lot of change all at once and they've been incredibly supportive. I just feel immensely grateful for all of their support um, throughout my entire college process, my entire life. <laughs> I really would like to shout out the staff at the BCSC. Shout out to Anne Marie and Kumar, as always, um, for all the work that you put in and for just going out of your way to make us feel comfortable. Shout out to Wasa and Oppa for putting in the time and effort and energy to make our senior spring still special and memorable despite the circumstances. I really appreciate it. The Brown Center for Students of Color is proud to continue the lineage of the 43rd Onyx Rites of Passage Ceremony. While we will not be celebrating at the traditional venues in Providence, we aim to create opportunities for our communities to share tributes, memories, and words of wisdom. To recognize seniors, we will draw on what we do know, collective wisdom, deliberately crafting spaces for celebration, and caring for one another. We, the staff members of the BCSC, offer a thank you to seniors who showed us laughter amidst chaos, joy in the face of unknowing, and for the families and friends who lift us up. We honor you. Congratulations to the Onyx Rites of Passage class of 2020. You did that. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to the Onyx class of 2020. I am so lucky to be able to call you friends and mentors, and I'm so excited to see where you go and who you become. I just wanna say, look at y'all. Y'all did that. The literal embodiment of Black excellence. So congratulations for everything. Congratulations class of 2020, we see you. I wish you burst of radical joy as you celebrate this incredible milestone and embark on your next journey. Special congrats to all the first generation college graduates and your families, as well as my DST soror. Ooh! Class of 2020, you made it. Your collective experience and perseverance is a reflection of the ancestors. Remember, knowledge is something no one can ever take away from you. Congrats.
Dear graduates, it's been a long and difficult road, but here you are at the end. Congratulations. I'm only so sorry that I can't be with you in person at the end to congratulate you and to watch you walk through the gates and down the hill. But this too shall pass and we look forward in years to come to see you as alumni of Brown University. Pass us on that short but critical walk through the gates and to greet you as though this were the very first time. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to see all the amazing things you're gonna to continue to do out in the world, just by being yourselves, by bringing your light, your creativity, and your commitment to change and to community. Congratulations, peace. When I think of the class of 2020, the word resilient comes to mind. Uh, you graduated during a pandemic. You all came into the university during a very tough political climate. And you all have experienced some things and gone through some things that I never had to deal with throughout my undergraduate years. And because of that, I say that you are the most resilient group of people that I've ever encountered and worked with. So I'm so thankful to be on this journey with you. And just know that once you're a chaplain, always your chaplain, please feel free to reach out. And I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Hi there, seniors. This is Professor Hamlin. Um, we're all missing out on the opportunity to get all gussied up for graduation, but I hope that as many of you as possible will come back next year for the ceremony and that we'll be able to give each other hugs um, as you move through those celebrations. Um, and you'll definitely have stories to tell uh, about this year and how crazy it was and how your finishing your, your Brown career was an event unto itself. But until then, stay safe. Congratulations on all your achievements. And I really look forward to the opportunity to see you all again and really celebrate with you. Take good care. Hi, I'm Eric Estes, Vice President for Campus Life. And on behalf of the entire division, I wanna congratulate the class of 2020. Uh, you have accomplished so much uh, during your time at Brown. Brown is a better and stronger place because of your many contributions. Uh, I'd also like to uh, recognize and thank uh, your families and loved ones for all that they've done to support you. Uh, I hope that, that you will come back and visit uh, often uh, and see this as a home away from home. Again, congratulations. One word to describe the class of 2020 is amazing. Mentoring may have brought us together, but I hope that you know you are now in a part of a wider community. And in the words of Toni Morrison, as she says, now that you've been so brilliantly trained, your job if you're free is to free somebody else, and if you have power, to empower somebody else. So go forth and be brilliant. Dear Brown students, Onyx class of 2020, Professor Elmo Terry Morgan here, class of 1974. Graduating from Brown University is historically significant because you are the hope that the enslaved ancestors could not have imagined in a life of freedom. Many generations have invested in you, so you, you would be here now at Brown in this moment. The universe has charged you to prepare for the generations to come. Against all that seems hopeless, you are destined to bring forth a new birth of life. There will be a tomorrow, even on the last day of forever. So travel with love, peace, courage, and ashe. Congratulations, class of 2020. On its class of 2020, this is Bricks and Diamond, class of 93, coming to you from Los Angeles. We all fully expected to be together in person on College Hill, celebrating you and welcoming you in this beloved community of alumni. No one knows the disappointment of our current distance better than you. While we cannot yell and scream with pride as you exit the Bamboo gates, we are no less excited about your accomplishments and even more impressed by your resiliency. We look forward to a redo in May of 2021. In the meantime, we're looking to you to guide us in making the world we wish to live in beyond this crisis. Your courage, your ingenuity, your perseverance are all exactly what we need as we break down the systems that have left our community so vulnerable. I hope that you will look back on your three and three quarter years in Brunonius Hall, some less, some more, 
with warmth and appreciation for how you have grown, evolved, and been empowered. Steel sharpens steel. And in my experience, the lessons I learned at our alma mater have been amongst the most important of my life and to my career. We cannot wait to see and live in the world you will create. Welcome to IPC. Congratulations. All good wishes. Greetings, class of 2020. My name is Eldridge Gilbert. I'm the president-elect of IPC, the Inman Page Black Alumni Council. And I just wanna take a few moments to sincerely welcome you into our community and congratulate you on this momentous occasion. Completing your degree at Brown is no small feat. I know that it requires courage, dedication, discipline, and tenacity to overcome all of the challenges that Brown may have thrown at you over the last four years. In addition to overcoming those challenges, I hope that you are leaving this time with great bonds and relationships with one another that will help make you successful into your next journey of alumnihood. And we are excited to welcome you into all that that entails. So congratulations. I'm sure that you've made your families extremely proud and we are proud of you as well. Welcome to IPC and congrats on reaching this incredibly important milestone in your lives. Alumni Cheryl Brissett Chapman. Today we may be virtual, yet we are also very, very live. Brown's newest black alumni class of 2020. Be assured that even in this uncertain and crisis of a season, that what you have invested here, intellectual and academic, social and emotional, spiritual and practical belongs to you. Your significant growth will demand a wonderful return even in unexpected ways. Know that you can embrace the IPC community because you can count on it as you move forward in these historic times. Bravo, congratulations, and welcome. Hello graduates, I'm Judith Sanford Harris, class of 1974 and my daughter Stephanie was in the class of 2014. I'm honored that I was asked to be with you today to say congratulations from and welcome to IPC. You're one of us now. I'm so sorry that you didn't have the opportunity to close out your time at Brown the way you would have liked, but hopefully we'll all be together next spring and then we can do it upright. I look forward to meeting you then. In the meantime, be safe, be well, and know that we are all very proud of you. Congratulations again. Class of 2020, congratulations. My name is Russell Malbro, coming to you from Long Island, New York, on behalf of the Image Page Black Alumni Council. I'm here to extend well wishes and appreciation to you and your family as we celebrate this important milestone. We know no matter where you are, you will continue to do great things and look forward to coming together soon. very proud of you. This is an amazing feat. Y'all literally graduated during a quarantine. Legends. Who can ever say they did that? Only you. So you should be very proud of yourselves. I'm proud of you. As you embark into this new phase of your life, please remember your accomplishments. Think about your journey as to how you got to this point. Don't ever forget who you are. Be proud, be bold, be fearless. At the same time, stay humble and go out there and make a difference and be the person you are destined to be. Hello, class of 2020. Congratulations on this incredibly momentous occasion. We are so proud of you. We are proud of who you are and what you've accomplished during your time at Brown. You are going to do great things, and we are excited to witness your impact in this world. Once again, congratulations and much love. So, I was recently rewatching Milana. I was tearing up because I was thinking about so many of you. Sometimes the world seems against you. The journey may leave a scar. But scars can heal and reveal just where you are. The people you love will change you. The things you have learned will guide you. And nothing on earth can silence the quiet voice still inside you. 
Congratulations. See you soon. And it's just one year, 365 days, or 525,600 minutes. Hi. Let's bring it back. Okay, bye. Take 102, click. Um, I hope this makes it into the video because I just want to give a huge shout out to Kumar, to our commencement coordinators. I want to say thank you so much for all of your work, for all of your labor. I offer you these beautiful flowers from my house to yours. I hope that you know that we see you. We recognize the long nights and the early mornings and all the creativity and innovation y'all are using to make all of this magic happen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.